hey guys welcome back to my channel hope all of you guys are doing great today i wanted to show you guys the uh, opre gel x nails i did order this kit um last week and received it this week so i wanted to try them on and um just show you guys the process along with um just my opinion about them um, I know right now a lot of people are using the Jellic snails because of the situation going on right now. One of my clients had mentioned these uh, last year, but to be honest, I never really looked into them till now. So I finally decided that I just had to try them out. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the process and like I said, uh, let you guys know what I think about them. In case you guys are interested in them as well i'm starting off by measuring each one um one of my nails making sure that the nail tips fit correctly on me that they don't fit too tight or too loose then we're going to go ahead and start prepping our nails now i'm going to start off by pushing back my cuticle once i do that i'm going to go ahead and cut uh the dead skin around my cuticle and you want to make sure you do this part especially with these type of nails because these nails do start from your cuticle so you want to make sure you have a clean cuticle and just so the nails can look nice of course and once we are done doing that we're going to start prepping our nails Going in with my uh, drill, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the shine off of my nail. Um, you just want to make sure you're doing this very gently at a very low speed, making sure you're not damaging your own nail or your client's nail. All you want to do is remove the shine. You don't want to over file the nail. Going in now with my cuticle bit, um, just going around the cuticle area, removing any dead skin left behind. You want to make sure you're removing that dead skin just to prevent any lifting. Okay, so now after prepping your nails, we're going to go ahead and dehydrate the nail. You want to do this on every single nail. After you dehydrate, we are going to go ahead and apply the primer.
Okay guys, so now this part is honestly optional. What I'm doing is with the extend gel, I'm just applying a thin layer of gel and then curing that. And then once we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the nail tips. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply that extend gel underneath the nail. You want to make sure that the nail is prepped before you apply this. You can either file the nail underneath or you can just apply dehydrator and rub that with a brush. Uh, don't put too much because it will dissolve the nail, but you just want it to be a little um, sticky enough for the gel in order for it to properly stick on now you guys we're gonna go ahead and press that nail on you want to make sure you're applying enough pressure and evenly so you can have that gel spread out um, evenly throughout the nail and also to prevent any bubbles um, I honestly did get bubbles on some of my nails um, it was quite difficult for me to um, a pull that nail on and then hold the lamp at the same time so it'll probably be easier if I'm actually doing this on somebody else but anyways we're gonna go ahead and do this on every single nail Okay guys, so here I'm just showing you the bubbles I got on my nail. And like I said, it's something you want to prevent um, in order to not get lifting. However, as a first timer, it's gonna happen you guys, so it's okay. It happened almost on every single one of my nails. However, this is the third day I have them on and they still feel very, very strong and I have no lifting at all. Okay ladies, so I'm only showing you the process on two of my fingers because it honestly took forever on my other fingers. I couldn't hold the nail lamp so I had to ask my husband to help me out. But I really like these because it has a very nice um, apex. Once I'm done doing that, I'm just reshaping my nails. You don't have to do this, they already come shaped for you however. They were a little bit too long for my liking, especially because I have a baby, so I had to reshape that. Once I'm done, I'm using my drill and removing the shine um, from the nail before I go ahead and apply my gel polish. I'm using DND, &D, and this is called Pixie, and it's a really pretty lavender color, very light lavender color. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for these nails. Um, all I'm doing is applying the color, curing that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the top uh, gel coat from Gelix as well, or I'll pray, I'm sorry. And that's it, you guys. And honestly, I really, really like this product. 
they are very strong you guys so you don't have to worry about them breaking but always remember your nails are jewels not tools so always make sure you're taking care of them even though you feel like they are very strong and sturdy and they're not going to fall off your nail it can happen even though you feel like they're very strong so always take care of them you guys but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions like i always say feel free to ask me um make sure you guys like this video you guys help me out by liking this video subscribing leave a comment down below you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah till next time you guys bye